My girl a goddess and she know I got it, so make sure I spoil her every day My problem is sleep, I know I gotta eat, so I got no choice but to stay awake Losing cash was a hobby to me, cause I came from no money at all, now we break the bank I got issues I do, get too close to boom, I'ma blow your whole face away I am shy, but I'm not shy. I'm not on camera because I'm not too used to know what I'm too used to myself right now. So, my name is Sayla. But y'all could just call me the baby bread because, yeah, that's what we're going to go with. Um, well, I guess my YouTube is supposed to be real personal, so y'all can know my real name. Um, we're going to do a story time. Hmm. This story time, like y'all can see in the title, is why I left. Howard and why I became a last check. It's like three stories in one, so go get a snack, go get something to drink, because we're going to be here for a minute. And this is my first video, so if I'm moving too much, just say that. Don't be mean, though. Relax, because I am a person, and I do have feelings, so don't be mean. But this is how we're going to start this channel off. Hopefully y'all can get to know me in this video because how I tell stories is how I am in real life. So if you don't like it, don't watch. Bye. If you're still here, hi. Welcome. Not welcome. Subscribe to my channel and like this video. So I will be graduating right now, y'all. If this if I was still in school and Actually, no, we're not even be graduating because of the virus, though. So. Coronavirus! Look how God works. Okay, seeing as though I can't get a graduation, none of you bitches can. No offense, because I didn't want to go, but... Sorry, the virus is here, and we're on lockdown. Bitch, can't come outside, I can't go outside. Social distancing, so back. This is a fucking story time, and I'm so stretched. Okay, so I went to Howard for three three semesters, so that is a year and a half, I guess. I stopped going my sophomore year, and no, I did not drop out for anybody who assumed that, who anyway, if you were saying it, stop saying that, because I didn't drop out. I'm not dumb. Um, my parents were just not did not pay my financial aid on time and if you go to howard if you know you know that whole financial aid administration it just shouldn't exist because they don't do shit so i was trying to tell my parents like hurry up get my financial aid done so i can hand it in at a good time because my school is real slow and i won't be able to come back if my financial aid is not paid because I can't register for class. And if I can't register for class, you don't have housing. So, I gotta hurry up. So that was the first step or the first, I guess, problem that... No, that is the real reason why I'm not in the school no more. The other reasons, we'll get into that, but it was just all timing. I feel like it was God's work. Thank God. So he just got thick today. Um, let's see. Going back, let's start off with the beginning of the semester. Um, school starts in August, so in October is homecoming, and I kind of got into a little not not an altercation because I didn't fight. I got into a verbal argument, I guess with the security guards over visitation because in HBCUs, I feel, I think visitation is way stricter than any other school. I don't know why it's real dumb. That's why when they say, oh, college, they don't baby you, that's the fuck they do because you don't, it's like living with your parents, but you don't because you technically still can't have people come in and out, like stay with you coming in and out the dorm, like, it's really retarded. And then, especially during homecoming, it gets even stricter. Like, the regular visitation is, I don't even think we have it. Or it gets, you gotta leave early or something like that. And then homecoming, you could check in a person, but they gotta be the same gender as you. So, 
all my friends go to the same school everything so i don't have nobody to check in except for my boyfriend but i can't check him in so me not trying to take no for an answer i find a god to act like he's gonna stay with him and just basically you got to fill out an application to um request if your guests can even stay with you like that's literally how complicated it is so i asked this boy to fill out the application whatever he did it and i paid him okay i did half and half because i'm not done like you're not gonna get all my money and it was only 20 dollars anyway so it wasn't that serious but i paid him then fast forward the day comes mind you i texted this boy i think two days before or a day before like reminded him like please meet me downstairs at this time so you can check him in and he was like yeah cool whatever fast forward to the day it's now 12 o'clock i'm at the school waiting for this nigga to come down to check in my boyfriend and he is now texting me back so i go upstairs to his room and i knock on the door and his fucking roommate opens the door so I'm like, where is Josh? That's the name I'm going to give him. That's not his real name. Where's Josh? And then Josh's roommate, Tyler, let's just give him that name. He's like, mm, he's in Trinidad. What? So I'm like, bitch, what the fuck do you mean this nigga's in Trinidad? I just, first of all. When the fuck did he go to Trinidad? Because I just texted him two days, if not last night. And he's over here playing around like, yeah, I'm going to be there. Bitch, how? How, bitch? How? You're sitting in fucking Trinidad texting me, telling me you're going to be in D.C. the next day and you're not? Like, I fucking hate liars. And, like, that is just so weird. Like, I don't even can know you. I mean, I know you, but like, I don't know you. Like, now you're just a weirdo. And who wants to be weird? I don't know. I'm like, okay. Well, unless somebody's gonna pay for this hotel room or something, somebody needs to figure this out for me. So I was like, you need to come downstairs and see if you could check him in. And he was like, okay, no problem. So now, at this point, I'm just like, I'm really going to beat Josh up because why the fuck would you ever text me when you're sitting in a whole different country or whatever that is? Like, not even in America, sir. Why would you do that? That's what it's fine. The roommate could check him in. Everything goes smooth the first day, second day. No, the first night we went out. Second night we tried to go out, come back in. I just try to walk in or whatever, like just show the ID, whatever. But no, 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 no. Oh, let me go back, back up. Before I even gave this boy money and told him to request all this information, I asked my RA if I would get in trouble for this, and she said I shouldn't. Like, technically, I'm not breaking the rules, so. I went ahead and checked just to make sure I, like, I would not run into this problem that I'm about to tell y'all. So second day we go out, we try to come back upstairs, and here go the RAs. Oh, stop, like who you with, who you with? Mind you, he can't really say me because that's not really allowed. So we're just like, I'm just like, mind you, I'm lit. Like, I'm cross-faded as fuck. I'm high and I'm drunk. And I was drinking the cute oil, and if you go to school, I don't know if it's all schools, but if you go to an HBCU and you drink the cute oil, you know what I'm talking about and you know what's in there. So like I'm lit, <laughs> bitch lit as fuck, okay? And here go these people trying to disrupt me enjoying this. Litness, like whatever. So I'm like, y'all not about to do this. <laughs> like not right now, not today, because it was not a problem yesterday. So whatever miscommunication is going on amongst you and your staff, y'all need to take care of it. And I'm going upstairs. So I was trying to swindle it and make it seem like he was not staying up there, which technically I think we was supposed to go back out. 
So we really wasn't gonna stay upstairs. And he was gonna stay with me. So it's not like we roaming the hallways now. I'm like, you guys can relax. But no, they don't wanna relax. So she's like, no, he, uh, where's the guy, person who checked him in or whatever? And I'm just like, yo, this is, this, this is not happening. It's not happening. So I started going back and forth with them. I forgot what the fuck they said. What I remember was that I was just like, you know what? No funny shit. Y'all, all oh, y'all can suck my dick. Because at this point, I'm mad as fuck. Why is it always an issue when I try to do something like it's a million and one people who done snuck in here, not checked in, not nothing. I cannot find the nigga who checked it in right now. Like, the nigga done lied to me. This is not even my fault at this point. I asked if I was gonna get in trouble. Y'all said no. And we're gonna leave in like 10 minutes. Like, you wanna come and stay with us? You can. It's not that serious. So then, when as soon as I said suck my dick, the, the whole atmosphere changed. Like, now we gotta go get the top RA, the GA. I think that's what she's called. And I was like, this is unnecessary. So, whatever. They do that. She comes to talk to me. So now I'm trying to like, Play it nice and swindle the fuck out of her like ma'am i'm just going upstairs because i've been like it's not that serious it's like he's with me and i'm trying to really explain to her so she can understand she's like oh okay like no problem so i worked my magic and it fucking worked until this bitch went back to her fucking co-workers and them bitches just like no she told me about suck my dick and she's person that is da -da -da. so she came back like oh hell no bitch no it's a dog so whatever, fast forward, we ended up sneaking in anyways. I just had to sell, so I feel like 10 minutes. Now, I told y'all that because homecoming, keep in mind, is October 22nd, right? Now, fast forward to like November-ish, I think that's when it was. I get a notification like, oh, you got mail. So I'm thinking like, oh, maybe one of my parents, my grandfather, somebody, you know, loves me or something and mail me something like surprise me. <laughs> Bitch, G the fuck out of me because that shit was a whole letter from my school telling me that I'm on housing probation now because I tried to sneak two people in. On a Tuesday morning, I don't think I will forever get this date. It's either October 11th or the... Yeah, it was October 11th at 11 a.m. I was trying to sneak. I was trying to check two people in, and I was giving the security a hard time and all of this stuff. Mind you, regular visitation doesn't start till 12 p.m. till 12 a.m. So, a full 12 hours from 12 to 12. So if you try to go in at 11, they're not letting you in. So they're making it seem like my dumb ass is just going to walk in on a Tuesday morning and start irritating everybody because I want to check two people in. And that pissed me off because one, I don't check a motherfucker in ever. Like you can pull up my whole, pull up my name and ask, like read the list and see if I checked anyone in. I don't like people, so I don't have no friends. The friends I do have... <laughs> Bless you. <laughs> the friends that I do have, they live in the same dorm as me, so I don't need to check anyone in if we live with each other. The second thing that pissed me off is that I fully have a whole class. So you want to tell me that I'm now going to skip class, check two people in, and argue with people at 11 in the morning? Miss, I can barely get up for my 11 a.m. You really think I'm going to sit and argue with people now? Like, I just want to know what the fuck people be, what do you be thinking? Like, do I look fucking stupid to you, bitch? Do I look like I want to argue with people? I don't know. Does they argue with me on my forehead? I don't know. But that was not the case. So I'm reading this and I'm like, bitch, how the fuck, who made this? Because <laughs> this is a fucking lie. Like. Pull up my schedule. I'm supposed to be sitting in a class at 11 a.m. Why would I now? What? what? I would get in trouble like three different times. Because I'm skipping class. I'm checking people in. outside, And it's outside of the time. And I think it was only, I can only check in one person. And it's like, bitch, if this gets back to my parents, they're going to be like, bitch, what the fuck is you trying to do? Like, we did not send you to school to be doing all of this. And it's like, I'm not. Literally, 
and they was really making my stuff real hot because at the time i was um i was depressed though i was not really going to class anyway so it's like bitch relax i know i was not in class maybe i was maybe i wasn't i don't know but i ended up making it hot anyways i read that i get real pissed off so i go downstairs and i'm like who the fuck who do i speak to about this because who put this shit on my record i'm not a bad kid like i'm not about to be known in this big ass school for a, a like a bad reason like that's never been me i'm not a bad kid we're not about to start this now you uh uh not in this big ass school so they're sending me like if you go to howard and i stayed in chs so back to college whole south and the RA administration building is literally um, downstairs, so you have to go out and go around the ramp and go inside. So they sent me there, then she like, you gotta go speak to this person. So I go back to the dorm, that person's not there. So I'm like, I need a meeting with this girl when she's ready because that's the only way you can get in contact with her. But as I'm talking to this lady now, cause now I came back to her a second time, and I'm mad because I just did all this walking around. This is a, a complete lie. Like, I don't know who the fuck made this. And how did you find... Mind you, I did not tell these people my name. So how the fuck did you find my name, my room number, and to write this up? You're on my dick. So, I'm telling this lady, like, yeah, I'm mad. So I'm, like, trying to hold it down so it don't look like I am this person with this badass attitude and stuff, but... Okay, anyways, so I'm trying to hold it down, like, I don't have an attitude, but, like, I do, because, like, why are you trying to lie right now, like, so it's just real frustrating, because it's, like, you don't want to try to keep a certain reputation, and, like, people try to ruin it, and, like, you don't need people to ruin it, but you kind of ruin it yourself, and it's, like, bitch, now I'm fucking mad at myself, because it's, like, you're controlling me without controlling me, and you're pissing me off, so she's looking at me, like, bitch. You probably did try checking to see people like get the fuck out of my office and i'm just like i hate you bitches because all you motherfuckers like all you black people that work in administrative jobs all of y'all have the same attitude all miserable like man you can quit i did not tell you i did not hold a gun to your head and say you need to take this job i don't think anybody really did so relax you could quit at any time and go get you another job like <laughs> don't let these people stress y'all out Cause now you stress me out, bitch. I don't have this job. Like, I could really beat you up, or like I could piss you off. Don't do that. So, fast forward. I'm still waiting on. I make. I end up making this meeting with this. Um, I don't know what the fuck she is. Just know she's very important with the dorms and stuff. Like that's her job. So she's the top of that. So, I'm waiting for this meeting. Whatever. Fast forward. Oh, the letter said, uh, if you're on housing probation, you can't get in trouble again or you can't get kicked out. So, now we're nearing the end of the semester and I think I was coming back inside my dorm from the cab. And when you come inside, you gotta show your your ID and say your room number. So, I showed my ID, said my room number. And then I seen, like the way my, the dorm is, when you walk through the, do the door, security is here, and then it's like a wall, but it's kind of see-through a little bit, but it's a wall right here. And then you walk and you turn, and it's like a lounge. So I turn, and one of my friends is there. Mind you, my other two friends. So it's like, oh, hey, what the fuck is like, what's up? So I'm getting ready to turn around now, or I think everyone had just stopped talking, so I turn around. And here I go, this little black security guard, um excuse me can i see your id and i'm just like no like what the fuck what like what do you want to see my id for i just showed it to you my nigga like what the fuck is the problem and he's like um no i need your id and room number and i was like what the fuck what do you need my id for i just showed it to you like i did not do nothing wrong <laughs> what the fuck is going on so he's just like trying to press it and i'm like okay i'm going upstairs because you're gonna piss me off now because i don't know what are you asking me for my stuff for 
you're fake embarrassing me now because now it looks like I'm ghetto because I'm turning up on not turning up but like I'm not listening to you so you're embarrassing me whatever so I go upstairs my friend I think I could, I could say a real name um my friend Hayla comes and we go upstairs so I think no we just came back from McDonald's fuck that <laughs> Fuck the cab. We came from McDonald's, so like I was good to go. Like I see my friends downstairs. I'm happy. And here come this nigga trying to ask me for my ID. Like stop trying to fuck up my vibe all the time, bitch. Leave me alone. I go upstairs and I call my boyfriend. Well, I was already on the phone with him. And here come these two security guards and these niggas. It's niggas. Like they're men. Two of them. And then nothing on my door, and I'm just like, yo, <laughs> you cannot be fucking serious right now. Like, you would think I just fought. <laughs> you would think I just fought somebody the way y'all niggas is coming up here. So, I'm just trying to make it seem like I'm getting dressed or something so like they could just wait. Cause I'm just so fucking mad. Like, bitch, I came up here to eat in peace with my friend. I'm on the phone with my boyfriend. Like, stop talking to me. Leave me alone. So, I was faking like I was getting dressed. These niggas just decided to open the door. Now, I was so mad at this point. Cause I'm like, now what the fuck? If I was really getting dressed and y'all walked in here. Bitch, we would have had a real problem because I would have started screaming, right? Like, this would have been a whole thing on the news. Like, don't don't play with me. So, I'm just like, I'm not going downstairs. I'm not giving y'all my ID. Like, y'all can get out of my room. I don't know if I said y'all can get out of my room, but I was just like, yeah, y'all don't need to be up here, though. So, y'all can go. And they was like, I, I don't even remember what the fuck they said. All I remember was the last thing that really pissed me off was don't show up in front of your friends. <laughs> Bitch, if you want to see a show, we're going to make this a movie because this is not me putting on for no one. Honestly, if my friend and my boyfriend was not there, it would have been way worse because nobody's watching me or telling me to calm down or telling me to stop. So I'm really not showing out now. Like... Don't. <laughs> don't so, play with the dryer? Okay. Okay. So, they was like, oh, I was mad because, like, don't accuse me of stuff that I'm not doing because, bitch, I'll do it now. Like, I'll show you a show and put it on. So, don't do that. But my friend is sitting in front of me and she's like, bro, just go downstairs. Like, and then my boyfriend's like, just stop and go. So I'm downstairs. Whatever. I'm really mad at this point because it's like, this is fucking embarrassing. Like, if people, ow, if people come in this hallway and see me walking with these two big ass security guards, like mad, it's going to look like I don't fought. It's just like bad, like negative. I don't want to be known as that. Like, what the fuck? So, go downstairs, and I'm sitting right in front, <laughs> right in front of the security um, desk. And when I get there, it's like, when we get down there, it's like a good 10 or maybe 8 security guards down there just posted. Like, I'm just like, damn, all you bitches are here for me. Like, hmm. So, like a celebrity. No, I'm just kidding. But I'm just like, this is very strike. So I'm sitting there waiting. They're just talking. And I'm like, can I have my ID back? Like, y'all not telling me what I'm in trouble for. What the fuck I did wrong. What am I sitting down here for? What do you need my ID for in the first place? I don't know. These bitches act like they can't fucking hear me. So I was like, hmm, you can't hear me, bitch that and going upstairs I said okay and I left that was the end of that I'll go get a new ID like y'all can, can keep that I'll go get a new one and that's just that on that really technically I don't even need it at this point because I can just tell the people 
my fucking ID number to get into the cab, and then, bitch, fuck y'all now, cause y'all should know who I am. I'm not, I'm not showing you my my ID to come in this dorm. As soon as y'all keep fucking harassing me, like, how the fuck did y'all find my name to make up a whole lie? I don't know. That was one. Two. How did the fuck did you send up these security guards? Like, I did not tell you my name, my room number, nothing, and. If you didn't see my ID, how the fuck did you know who I am and what to pull up? Like, I'm just so confused. Like, this is mean. Like, stop being mean. So, I got in trouble again. Keep that in mind. Now I see the lady I was supposed to make, have a meeting with. And we're ending the, the, we're getting close to the end of the semester. So, at this point, I'm like, if y'all don't kick me out, y'all not going to kick me out. Like, fuck that. If y'all not kicking me out. So, so I seen the lady now that I was supposed to have a meeting with to discuss why the fuck I was even put on this whole housing probation. Like, the fuck? She was like, I was like, if you get in trouble a second time and you're on housing probation, like, what, are you, what happens? Because I was supposed to have a meeting with you and I didn't get to have it yet. And I got in trouble again. But, like, both times I really, I literally don't be doing nothing. I didn't do nothing. I mean, I did the first time, but, like, that was a lie. So, there was no need to put me on housing probation the first time. Because she knows what I was doing was technically correct. That's why we had to make up a lie. So, fuck you. And she was like, yeah, you're not supposed to get in trouble, so we got to talk. But at this point, it's like, finals are here. I don't give a fuck. If we have the meeting, we have the meeting. If we don't, we don't. Then my parents ended up not paying my financial aid. So, I was like, that checks out. But before you bitches think I gave up, I did try looking into um, transferring schools, but couldn't get my transcript because I didn't pay the tuition. So, can't get that. Tried um, looking, transferring. I think I did two different things. One was transferring, one was something else. And remember I said I was depressed and I was not going to class, so I, my grades dropped, which brought my GPA down. I couldn't transfer and I wasn't going to like in my schools because I thought how it was about my school so I needed something you know a little bit more challenging a little bit more upscale because how wasn't doing it for me I'm sorry I could give y'all we could do another video on why I don't really like Howard but I'm not putting that in this video because I don't want to see that long and it's gonna be a little biased, like, I'm gonna keep it real with y'all, but it's, keep in mind, it's coming from my point of view, too, so, it's gonna be a little biased, but yeah, that's why I, I left Howard, because of my financial aid. Now, before I officially left, amongst all of this bum-ass drama, one of my friends, Michaela, shout out to her, my sis, Mickey. She started doing lashes, and I was like, I need to make money because my dad doesn't want me to work, and it's a real hard to um, find jobs anyway, so I need to find something that I can do on my own and employ my damn self. So, Period. So, the original idea that I had, it wasn't lashes. Um, I just got the inspiration from her. And then I started, I can't tell y'all what it was, though, because it's still a secret. If you're, if you're my friend, then you know what the fuck I'm talking about. If you're not my friend, you're not going to know until that day comes. But what I started off doing originally, um, it was not lashes. And I didn't like it because it was way too much work on my end. And I wanted it done professionally because I wanted it done a certain way. So that got away. So I figured... The closest thing that, or the thing that ties into that is lashes, so. I looked into the lash thing, and then I got certified uh, the semester I was not in school. So, yeah. I started thinking about all of this before I even stopped going to that school, because you gotta think ahead, bitch. That's how you stay ten steps, st ten steps ahead. You gotta think ahead, so. I was like, I kind of already was planning on leaving Howard anyway, so I really fucking hate that school. So I was like, 
if I stay for two more semesters, I need to find something that I could do so I have enough money that when I leave college, like, I'll be good to go. Like, I'm good. So, I ended up leaving the school or whatever, and I'm still thinking about what the fuck I'm gonna do. I'm leaving. Still coming up with this whole lash thing. I'm trying to figure that out. So, fast forward to, I guess, 2017, I wanna say. No, 2018. Because 2017, I was still in school. 2018, that January to May semester, spring semester, uh, I was not in school. So, I got certified in May. And what the, what was I thinking about, though? A few moments later. I didn't really look into the last thing until I was out of school. So, I didn't get certified until May. And then I just been practicing that ever since. Ever since. Wait, why did I start reading the last tech though? Because I was a depressed little girl. Okay, so. That's not why. It is why. No. Because yes, I remember no, I remember lashes. because. I told myself at I told myself at 21 I'm gonna um live in Atlanta <laughs> have my car and like start my life for real like so yeah. from 19 to 21 I wasn't gonna take no boys oh wait this was way before I I left school yeah this was during when I was still in school because I didn't even meet my boyfriend yet I was like yeah I'm not taking to boys and At 21, that's when I'll start dating again and stuff. But Tyreek, it got Tyreek. It worked out a little different. Uh, so yeah, I met my boyfriend. I did lashes. I got certified to do lashes. And that's why I became a lash tech. Cause I needed to make buddy bitch. So we broke. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's why I left power. Cause my parents did not pay, pay my financial aid. It's kind of beginning to get kicked out anyway. I didn't even like that school anyway. Like God knew what the fuck I was trying to. Me and him had a conversation, okay? So he knows. I know. Now we all know. And that's why I left. And that's why I became a last tech. Y'all will see in the end what the surprise is, what my end goal was, or what I started off with. So. And that's just that on that. Okay, so that's why I left Howard, because my parents did not pay my financial aid, and I was about to get kicked out. But I believe. Yeah, either way, I was going to leave that school. Like, I was already planning that in my head. What was going to happen? It just happened a little faster than I thought, but that's okay. Because, you know, we can handle anything that gets done. You have to. I have to. Um. Oh, I also learned some things about myself. I don't like big crowds or, like, large environments because one i need to be known like not like popular i just need like the staff to know me so i could feel like i'm safe because i really am a baby like i need i need help sometimes so i need to make I need to feel like i can ask you for help or that you will help me without me asking because i kind of don't need it like that's the help i just know when i need it so that's that I guess if you guys want me to go in depth more about why I became a last type, I think there's more details. I'm not really sure. It's not really much to it. It's just the reason why I started my brand. It's yeah. from school, huh? Like yeah, the outro, like, um, just like something you go put like all the time, like just subscribe to your channel. Um, show like basic shit. Make it a little fast. I wasn't even doing my ending though. You just mm -hmm. interrupted my whole ending. You just finished.
Okay. Alright, yeah, so if y'all want me to make a separate video, I can. Whatever, but I think my next video will be a vlog or something. Or another story time. I think I'll do another story time because I have a lot of stories. And my friends keep pushing me to do this YouTube, so this is story number one, part one. This is welcome to my world, my life. And yeah, subscribe to my channel, like, comment. And then also follow me on my social medias. They'll be linked somewhere on this screen. Make sure to follow it. And follow my business page because I sell lashes and I do them and they're really nice. Okay? And if you want to be a baddie, you buy the lashes. And if you believe in everything I stand for, you buy my lashes. So, follow me. And subscribe. Please subscribe to my channel, y'all, because I am funny. Thank you. Bye.